Hey guys, how's it going? Bringing you another world recap. We won 65 to 57, and we're going to start here with number 12, Dirt versus the Town on 9 using Govajo. And uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while, guys. I've been kind of busy with work this past month, but I'm uh, hoping to get back on top of this and bring you guys more content. Also, want to bring a couple more how to videos like Stone Hobo and whatnot. So he comes in, he quakes in the core. I'm not sure if he meant to get that little wall by the king, too, but he didn't get it. But it doesn't matter because he still ends up three starring it. That's the great thing about hogs is you don't need to break the walls to send the hogs in. So he comes through, he's got his golems, his wizards, create a funnel, sends in his valks, his heroes, and then uh, just kind of punch through where he quaked, and then he's going to send those hogs in. And uh, he's got uh, no poison for the CC, but he's got a rage spell, so it's going to be just fine. He'll spell for the valks. Probably should have put it a lot higher, I don't think he was... Uh, paying a whole lot of attention to that one you know heat of the battle he's got his uh, hogs going in they get a little bit of the healing from the heal spell so it works out just fine he's got one more heal spell in the bag uses it now and then uh, I'm not sure if this was a first hit or not but uh, he may have known that there was no bomb down at the bottom or maybe there was but uh, regardless it all works out just fine and uh, still has his heroes tanking at the bottom and then the hogs come in from the back and that is going to be a wrap. Goes down the last defense and it's all clean up. We'll go ahead and speed it up to times two. Good job derp. All right, this next one I'm, I'm gonna bring you guys is uh, our number is uh, their number thirteen, and it's uh, it's gonna be me versus uh, Tunnel Nine with Stone Hobo. And this is uh, the one I was telling you I want to bring you guys a how-to video for, and uh, let's go ahead and get over to that now. And uh, basically, the idea with this strategy is you want to do three golems, hence the stone, and then you wanna you wanna spread them out and you wanna put the wizards behind them and you wanna give them plenty of time to work before you try and enter this base. Uh, two jump spells because I'm, I, this is really more of a max attack where you wanna have your kill squad do most of the work with the uh, hogs in the background while the defenses are distracted. And I usually deploy my hogs in a scattered manner or a surgical. I mean, um, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but uh, I, I feel like surgical keeps more of them alive because less of them run into the bombs. So it comes in, I come in with a heal spell and then my rage. I have my second jump down for the kill squad. I'm gonna start sending the, the hogs in in just a second. And then uh, no heal for the hogs if you notice. And that's because the idea here, like I said, is max attack. Don't really want to waste spells on the hogs. You want the hogs to come in while defenses are distracted. And uh, with that, that's pretty much the last two defenses going down right now. And that is a wrap. Uh, you see here I still have my queen ability because this is a very strong attack. It does do better with higher heroes, but it can do just fine with you know, level 15, 15 heroes too. And uh, with that, uh, it's pretty much wrapped, so let's go ahead and speed it up. Alright, this next one I'm going to bring you guys is uh, their number 14, and it's LMC versus a Town of Nine. And she's going to use Govami, something we don't see very much. And this is uh, Golems, Valks, and uh, Miners. It's just like Govaho, but she likes to use uh, the Miners to come in on the backside. Now, I don't really think this is as strong as it used to be since they nerfed the Miners at Town on 11, but uh, yeah, she still got the 3 stars, so it can, it can still work in the right scenario. So she's going to quake into the base, she's going to start her golems like, a, like any other kill squad or her wizards and then she's going to send her Valks in with her heroes. It's going to get through that core. Here comes the wall breakers. She's got a nice funnel created. The Valks are going to go nowhere except for the middle. No heal for the CC, but she has rage and heals, so she'll be just fine. She sent the miners in at the top. 
They're gonna work their way down. Um, one, one of the last two wizard towers going down. There's only one more wizard tower that can really affect those Valks. The rest is all single target damage. And this is looking pretty close to a wrap. Notice the miners did die pretty fast. Like I said, they're not as strong as they used to be, but uh, you know, such, such a strong attack, she might not have even needed the miners. <laughs> she probably could have straight back this base, but that's okay. They're all ganging in on the last couple defenses now. She actually did have two miners still alive. I didn't notice those. They were able to get that cannon. And then the Vows get the Archer Tower. Actually they don't quite get the cannon, but they get it really low on health. So the wizard tower I'm sorry, the wizard can get the cannon. Good job, LMC. Alright, this next one is going to be their number 15, and it's uh, Ride versus in Town on 9, and he's going to use Go Bajo. And this is going to be the last of our Town on 9 attacks for this war. And then uh, we'll hop over to those Town on 8 attacks. And uh, he's just going to quake into the core, uh, start his golems here in just a minute, some wizards. Create a funnel for the Valks, and then he's gonna hog the backside. Notice that one wall breaker got that wall open. <laughs> Drops heal spell, sends Valks nowhere to go but the middle. There's one giant bomb out of the way. Only four, uh, only three others left. Start sending in the hogs at the bottom. Heal in the core, heal on the hogs. Turns out there was no bomb there. Probably, probably could have used up. Oh, there we go. Right there, perfect heal spell. To got a, a double giant bomb set. Uh, most of the base is destroyed, only a few defenses left, all clumped up, and he still has hero abilities, so really strong attack, really good, really good raid rides. Good job. I think he's about to hit that uh, king ability here in a minute to get through that wall. Use queen ability to. Actually, never mind, doesn't need king ability. Queen does all the work from here. Oh, there goes King ability. And with that, that is a wrap. And uh, we'll hop over to these Town 08 attacks. First one's going to be LMC again using her Town 08 versus their number 20. And she's going to be using Go Bawi. Mass Valks. She starts with the Quakes in the core. Gonna start with the golems, the wizards, create a funnel, and then she's gonna send those Vox in. I probably would have spread more of those wizards out, try to get some of that top that north north area right up there. So that the uh Vox would have an easier time going to the middle, but funnel's still wide enough, no problems there. Sends in the Vox. Probably about to drop yep, here goes the first heal. She saved those wizards back. Let's see how she uses them. CC goes down. Second heal goes down right about. Maybe not. Okay, now the heal goes down. 
perfect timing. Right in time for that wizard tower. She still has her five. Oh, drops one at the bottom, more at the bottom, maybe some at the top here, we'll see. Three more wizards left. Has the golem still up tanking. It's gonna be perfect for those wizards. And she did drop another wizard up top, another wizard up top there as well. And another wizard up top. Alright. All that's left is that mortar and it's trained uh, on the wizards, but they're constantly moving, getting out of range. And uh, with that, pretty much a wrap. All that's left is the mortar. Uh, good job, LMC, as always. Keep up the great work. Now we'll speed up the times too. All right. So the next one's gonna be uh, is gonna be Precious versus their number twenty-two. Town 08 versus Town 08, go Vajo. Precious, uh, Precious is a really good member. Uh, he doesn't have max hogs and he always pulls off three stars a lot. Lowers the CC with the hogs. Realized he didn't get it all, so he sent another one in. Now he does an anchor point. I don't think that's necessary to do with the archers and the poison like that because he does have level 2 golems. Maybe if they were level 1 golems. Um, with level 2 golems I would just go ahead and start my army and just put the, the poison down as they get near the golem. While having the wizards behind of course. But uh, anyway, works out just fine. Still has uh, three. Wi I'm sorry, four wizards left. So golem, four wizards, creating the funnel. Gonna send the Vox in here in a minute. It's some wall breakers to open up that first wall. Looks like he opens up the second wall as well. Yep. And then sends the Vox in. They're gonna go straight to the core. Once they clear out these flanks. Still waiting on King. It's gonna probably drop that rage. Maybe hill spell, maybe not. Sends in the hogs. Still don't have King down yet. Uh, here comes the first heal. Heals in that open area where the bombs could be. Another heal down by that wizard tower. And then finally the King goes in for cleanup. And the last couple defenses are at the bottom. And uh, they'll be taken care of just fine. Now these wizards may go down. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not wizards. Uh, these hogs may go down here in a second. But they do get that wizard tower. Oh no, they stay alive. Well, one of them does. Worked out just fine. Uh, we'll be spread at the times two here. Uh, good job, Precious. Keep up the great work. Alright, we got two more for you guys. Next one's going to be uh, Jaden versus uh, their number 23. And he's going to be using Mass Dragons. Jay is our Dragon Master at Town 08. Three stars everybody everywhere with, town, with uh, drags. Something that I can't do on my Town 08. Starts a couple dragons in. Doesn't send every single one in. He just wants to create a funnel. Um, I think he's going to send the rest in. Yep, right there at the top so they'll, they'll go to the core. He still has one more dragon left. We'll see where he uses it. Drops his uh, lightning quake on the, the far air defense and then rages into those first two air defenses. Here comes the last dragon. And then CC loons. And he is just powering through the space. Last air defense is about to go down. And with that, there is pretty much nothing left that can stop this attack. And this is going to be a wrap. Still has this king. We'll see where he drops it for cleanup. Looks like he sent it on the uh, the west side. And it's going to work its way down. Still has king ability. Pops it now. I think that's because he saw that the uh, enemy king was coming up on his king. And he wanted to get that building down fast. Uh, between the king and the dryads, king dies fast. And then King gets right back on for cleanup. And at this point, there's nothing left but cleanup. Last defense has gone down. And we'll go ahead and speed it up to times four. Good job, Jay. Keep it up. 
All right, got one more for you guys. This one's gonna be uh, number 25, and this is me using Go Bajo Town 08 versus Town 08. And uh, personally, in Town 08, Go Bajo is my favorite attack. Use it every single time, pretty much, except with the few occasions where I use loons. Especially these level four, level four hogs are amazing. So, lower the CC. I always attack into the king on Tano 8 because I want to get him down so he doesn't kill my hogs. I usually bring about 4 whiz for, for uh, funnel, 2 poisons for the CC, and they're just wizards and a loon so sh they should go down pretty quick. Once a big enough funnel has been created I'll start sending my wall breakers and then my Valks inside, and then my king and my CC Valks. First heal spell down early, wanted to keep the Valks alive. They're beating on the wall, so I dropped another one because they're about to get into this core. And then I'm going to start uh, surgically sending my hogs in. And you see here, they hit a double giant bomb set, and that is exactly why I always do uh, surgical style. Get my last heal spell down where the wizard and Teslas are. And with that, the last few defenses are about to go down in the core, and then we just have the few left at the top. Still have Golem tanking on the side. They're going up to that wizard tower. So many hogs left. Lose a few to the spring trap, but it's not enough to stop this attack. And with that, this is going to be a wrap. Good job everybody in war. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I will see you guys in the next video.